What is a render farm? In films like Transformers or Avatar, there's a lot of computer generated imagery, or CGI for short. The rendering process is very complicated and can take a long time. If you tried to render all of the CGI elements on one computer, it would take months or even years. In order to create the CGI elements, artists make 3D models and then they render them out into video files. The rendering process is extremely complicated and can take a very long time to finish. If you tried to render all of the CGI elements on one computer, then it would take months or even years. This is where render forms come in. Render farms allow you to split the rendering process between several different computers. Each computer is given one frame to render. The computer renders the frame, and then once all computers are finished rendering, the frames are put together into a final video. Let's say you're rendering out a CGI project. The project has 100 frames, and each frame takes one hour to render. On one computer, this would take just over four days to render. If you had a render farm with 100 computers, you could render each frame simultaneously, and all your rendering would be finished in one hour. Four days compared to one hour. Time savings like that have made render farms increasingly popular. Now let's say you have a render with four frames, and you have eight computers. If you send one frame to each computer, then you're only using half of your computers. The frames can be split up into separate parts. Each computer renders one part, the parts are put back together into frames, and the frames are put back together into the final video. If each frame took one hour to render, then the entire render would only take half an hour, because each computer is only rendering half a frame. This process is known as bucket rendering. If you found this explanation helpful, then please leave a like. If you'd like to see more videos, then consider subscribing.